Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we'll talk about uh, what happened if you bought a brand new printer and uh, your printer is missing color or just uh, print blank pages. First thing to do is actually follow your instruction. Uh, you need, need to remove the clear plugs from each cartridge. There are two plugs. The color plug is the refill plug and the clear plug is the air plug. To be able to make the cartridge work, you have to remove the clear plug. Uh, you can save the plug in a safe place and uh, when you do shaping or like uh, sometime you're moving the printer uh, you want to prevent spill, uh, you can put a clear plug back. However, when you use the printer you have to remove the clear plug. Let's get some paper in there and uh, try it. From the home screen and uh, scroll all the way to the maintenance. You can do another check first, but uh, I know this one prints blank, so I'm going to go directly go to print head cleaning. And uh, this is how you do the uh, building clean head cleaning. When it finishes and uh, asks you you want to do a check, so you click OK on the check and uh, let it print the page. So I'll call this nozzle check. You're supposed to have a perfect nozzle check before you do the real, uh, real printing. You can see this printer is printing blanks. And here you're supposed to hit uh, the cross uh, by hitting left and uh, then OK. And it will go to another cleaning. However, for Epson, if you do this too many times, Epson will think you have a problem with the printhead. We will prevent you from uh, doing multiple cleanings later. So what I do is I just click OK and uh, then uh, I was pretending I was getting perfect result. Then I select a print that cleaning. So, uh, so I will not see the nasty error message later. Uh, if you have an error message, that, that's no problem. I will shoot another video sh uh, show you how to get rid of it. Okay, you're going to do six of them during the first day. And uh, you uh, uh, stop when you have a perfect result, okay? So if you're not having a perfect result, just do six. Uh, you can do it once or you can do uh, spread up in a couple hours. So after six cleanings, we can see the black is coming out and uh, some of the color is coming out. So we're going to wait 12 hours, do nothing, just let the, computer, uh, the printer set for 12 hours. Just go fishing or uh, uh, watch your kids play hockey or do some uh, non-printer stuff. Here comes my kid. Okay, now we can get back to the printer. Okay, you probably know what I'm going to say. And uh, do six more cleanings and stop when you see the perfect result. You have a brand new printer and there's no way uh, that uh, you won't see the perfect result. So this will solve 99.999% of the problems. So what you're going to do if you still not having the perfect result after 12 cleanings. So it's 6 yesterday, 6 today, total 12. After you've done that, and there's one more trick. And here's the result of the second day, 6 cleaning. You can see much better than the first day, uh, but uh, still it's not perfect. So we removed the clear plugs, and uh, we did all 12 cleanings. And now it, our last method is uh, actually shut the printer down and uh, power it up. Once you see the printer cartridge moves and unplug the printer, just put the plug away. Uh, in this way, the cartridge can freely move inside the, the printer. Get a piece of paper towel and uh, just push and move the printhead. And uh, so the, that piece of paper towel is underneath the printhead. Now we're going to blow some air into the cartridge. Max, maximum we should do is about 3 mils of air. Uh, there are two reasons why you shouldn't put too much air. First reason, first reason is you might not have that much ink in the cartridge. So, uh, if you only get a two mil for uh, ink, you push three mils, uh, five mils of air, let's say, and uh, basically you push air in it afterwards. And the second one is more important is uh, this is the inside of uh, uh, Epson printhead. So you push air here and that the ink gets in. What you want is you want to get the ink passed through this nozzle. The ink is hosted at those little chambers. 
and uh, you were pushing one chamber you gave a you gave a higher pressure on one chamber so if you have a uh, too much air and uh, too much pressure this chamber can break and that's why you should just do a little bit of air and uh, do it slowly and gradually so use another finger hold the front of the cartridge and uh, press the air in and uh, count down to 15 mississippis uh, to prevent the breaking the chambers uh, you can also try to do all four of them at the, together at one time in that way all four of chambers will have the same pressure and uh, have uh, it's less likely to break let's see the result blank what are we gonna do six more cleanings okay now we're at uh, cleaning number four you can see there's only one pixel missing on the magenta so the third method took us from here to here so the question is should we keep going i usually just stop right here and wait another 12 hours and normally that pixel is begun you may wonder why you had so much trouble it's because when the absent shipped the printer i put uh, some uh, uh, water solutions inside that the print ad and uh, sometimes the water solution is hard to get rid of and uh, so this is the way to fix it so you can say we'll wait 12 hours and that pixel is gone i hope you enjoyed this video visit us www.bchtechnologies.com or locally greensboro north carolina cheers